hi everyone um, this is a, this will be a short video i just wanted to show you how to create a dummy PySpark data frame in uh, actually in the databricks uh, i'm using databricks so wherever you're using PySpark, you could use this it's not a, a databricks uh, specific oriented uh, thing um, uh, so what would be the use case uh, i personally in the real time whenever we encountered uh, to use a larger data set especially if you are using a data set uh, or, i mean if, if you're receiving a data that comes as a json format or you're reading from a no uh, so obviously the data looks uh, looks like a json or it 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 does uh, will be present in the json format that means json is nothing but a dictionary kind of format which contains keys and values so if that is the case schema evaluation uh, evolution does not happen so um, so well especially when you are dealing with xml files json files and csv file uh, in some uh, like to some extent csv files are a little bit better but json files are uh, you know they are very, very difficult to split uh, so it restricts the parallelism so that is the reason uh, but anyways if you are receiving uh, in the JSON format, if you really want to create a schema out of the JSON and when you want to play around with it, uh, if you want to store a schema, not a data frame, I'm not telling to store a data frame, but you want to store a schema uh, so that you would impose that particular schema on the next run for the next further runs in your notebook, you could use this kind of a dummy uh, PySpark data frame uh, to convert that and write it into a Parquet file. Um, um, and then store it in ADLS or, or maybe blob storage and then impose that schema read it back from ADLS uh, and or maybe blob and then impose that particular schema as a struct type again you have to convert from a uh, data frame to struct and then uh, impose that schema on the data set you are reading so this is just a, like a part of it where I'm going to show you how to create the the, the PySpark uh, empty dummy uh, like empty PySpark dummy data frame. So let's say that we are creating this particular schema and uh, we are creating uh, the you know uh, the dummy data frame like this that is park dot create data frame and sc dot empty of rdd like uh, this going this is going to take uh, the parameters of an rdd this will create an empty rdd but then it's going to convert it into a data frame and the schema I'm imposing us is on this. So it's a first name, middle name, last name, ID, gender, salary, and these are the um, data types. And once I create this particular uh, data frame, it's just going to uh, show the command that it has been completed. And once you show the display, it doesn't actually show. But the thing is, the data frame is actually created. The logic here is, I mean, the idea principle here is uh, that the empty data frame will not be showcased if you use the uh, display of uh, dummy data frame. But rather if you actually sprint the print schema if, if you use the print schema you can actually see there is a column so basically what i mean to say is there is um, a table of empty table or empty data frame which contains columns but the thing is it's it's not actually um what do you say that uh it's not actually um having containing a data which consists of any data so it just it, it just contains the columns that is the reason display data frame uh, display of the data frame will not be showcased because it, there is no data to show but if you like if you check the print schema it actually contains uh, the schema information you could use this particular thing to convert or maybe write it to the ADLSS, uh, um, ADLS uh, gen 1 gen 2 whatever you're using um, or maybe blob storage you could store it and then you could read it back so hope this was helpful uh, make use in the production environment okay let me know if this helps you